Ernest Hemingway once said, um, write drunk, edit sober. I wrote this drunk and edited it drunk. <laughs> My therapist told me once, Neil, I think you're allergic to breasts. They must cause swelling in the part of your brain that allows you to make rational decisions. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm always suave and mysterious and I never say things like, hi, my name is Neil. Nice to teet you. meet you. <laughs> Not once have I ever chosen to sleep with a woman after listening to two hours of her cat stories. If someone wrote my biography, it would be called The History of Poor Life Choices, or How to Lose All Your Friends, Slash Dignity, Slash Money, Slash Time, Slash Cars in 10 Days. <laughs> if you took all of the truths I've ever told, and you put them in a bucket, and you took all the lies I've ever told and you put them in a much larger bucket, you would still have two empty buckets. Lies and truths aren't water. Don't be stupid. <laughs> but back to my original point. Boobs. I am allergic to milk, pollen, and peanuts, but they don't make me make stupid decisions that fuck up my life. Except that they are delicious, and in that way to me, peanuts are like boobs. Similarly, like a peanut, I completely lack the ability to say no to any boob ever. If there are two of them, I'm fucked! One time, I got into this really cool, totally not creepy at all, unmarked van because someone painted Shuttle to Boob Town on the side. God damn it, Neil! My therapist said, in a calm and supportive manner. Do you know what you fucking do? Whenever you're sad or scared or lonely or whatever, you go out and you sleep with someone who would cause a lot of drama just so you can feel like you have control over something. To which I responded, You don't know me, devil woman! And then I paid her a hundred dollars. If someone wrote my biography, it would be called The History of the Inappropriate Boner, or Pity Sex, A Love Story, or How to Pick Up Chicks at Flea Market, or the Teddy Roosevelt of monogamy, or ladies, or don't touch him, you don't know where he's been. I think my therapist fucking hates me. Because the thing is, she's right. It's not that I shouldn't sleep with people, or even that I shouldn't sleep with the people that I sleep with. I just shouldn't fucking lie about it afterward. The following situation should never happen. Hey, Neil, did you sleep with that hipster girl with the pink hair and the head, side of her head shape that you fucking hate? No, of course not. Frankly, I'm offended by the implication that I even have a penis. <laughs> I have ruined relationships for fear of ruining those relationships. Please, explain to me how this is... Fucking... Please, explain to me how this is productive. Please, explain to me why I can't understand that healthy relationships are built on, duh, total fucking honesty. And why can't I be honest? I know how. Every time I get scared and want to make something up, I just shouldn't. If, if you took all of the love letters that I've ever written and you built a house out of them, you would have a shitty house <laughs> built on lies.